What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another video. And if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know that I am a big Evernote user. Well, Evernote a few months back released a brand new update to all of their apps, iOS and the Mac and everywhere, There's even Windows, everything got a huge update, which was great in theory. However, there've been lots of complaints about Evernote and their update, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm actually here to talk about why Evernote sort of broke the way I used it over all of this time. By the way, if you're new around here, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. If you want to learn more about living your life to the fullest as a visually impaired person or a sighted supporter, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another single video. Now, like I said, Evernote broke the one way I actually used it day in and day out. Let me just recap or tell you brand new if you've never seen one of my videos. Evernote is a great platform to house all of your digital life, basically. But the one major way I used Evernote was to use it as presentation software basically. So I would go in, type in my notes, and then I could use a headset and then swipe through those notes and it would read it out to me so I could use them, you know, if I'm giving a speech or if I'm trying to sing and I need to know the lyrics, I would use it in all kinds of different ways. As a matter of fact, I was in a play a few years ago and I typed out the entire script in Evernote and then went through it on stage with my phone or whatever the case was, and it worked really, really well. And so when Evernote started talking about, oh, we're gonna update, I thought, oh no, this is not gonna be good. They're gonna totally break this, this whole system that I've got going. I even sent out a tweet. I was like, Evernote, please, please don't break this. I made a video, like, please, please don't break this. And I was part of the beta program and all this. I was like, oh, and inevitably it broke. Now, I'm not blaming Evernote. I'm not saying that they have to make sure that I, one person has to, you know, be taken care of, but it really broke the system. And so I was like, well, what am I gonna do? Well, I ended up transferring over to Apple Notes. I found sort of a workaround and I made a video about that and I'll, I'll post that in the description down below. And basically you go into the note, you use the rotor, go through lines, it was a whole thing. And it was fine and it worked, but I was like, this is not ideal. However, I did find a new app that actually works like Evernote worked almost 99% of the way that Evernote worked out. And so I was like, I was so excited. It was a couple of weeks ago, I've been testing it out. I'm, I'm so excited to make this video. So I wanted to share it with you, okay? So I've got my phone here and I've got the voiceover turned up. Normally I would put this in my ear so I could go through notes, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna demonstrate it out loud for you guys to hear it so you can know. So anyway, the Note app is called Nimbus, N-I-M-B-U-S, Nimbus Note. And I think I was watching a video and somebody talked about it and I was like, that seems interesting, I'll give that a try. I tried another app called Bear Notes, B-E-A-R, Bear Notes, and the app was great, but again, it wasn't super accessible. So I tried Nimbus and all of a sudden I was testing and I was like, oh my gosh, this works. I was like flabbergasted. And so I thought, I'm gonna give this a shot. So I've been using it the last couple of weeks and it works so, so well. There are a couple of little quirks about it which I wanna share with you today, but if you're looking for an Evernote replacement because you've been using it like I do with presentations and having notes and things like that, this is a great, great app. It's not just like an alternative like, eh, my, no, this is a really good app. I'm not gonna say it's better than Evernote, but it certainly is a great app to use. So let's hop into it. Nimbus. It's called Nimbus. And let me see if I can show it to you. It's the uh, second, it's right by Todoist, which, by the way, I use Todoist. It's a great app as well. Uh, if you want to use it, maybe I'll go over another video uh, for Todoist. Let's hop into Nimbus and we'll just walk through this, okay? Nimbus, workspaces, button, so Nimbus, icons, no, I was trying to read it too. <laughs> Nimbus starts off at the top uh, left of the screen. It says workspaces. Workspaces are kind of like, I don't know, big sections, if you will. You can create a personal workspace, maybe a work workspace, something like that. And all the notes in that workspace will be for that thing. Then within that workspace, you can have tags, you can have folders, subfolders, kind of like Evernote used to do. But uh, that's how that would work right off the bat. So then we're gonna swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, let me, let me give you one thing. This says button. It's not labeled with anything. That is the one thing about Nimbus. Their iOS app, and again, I'm using it on iOS. Their iOS app is not super labeled uh, on all the things. I would say 90% of it is really good, but some of the buttons aren't labeled. Now, if you're using voiceover, especially if you're using iOS 14, it'll do its best to guess what it is. And I would say it gets it most of the time. But what I did is went in, took about five minutes, and I labeled all of the buttons. And you can do that 
by going to the thing, double tapping with two fingers, holding, and it'll bring up a menu that says, hey, what do you wanna call this? You type in what you wanna call it, and then VoiceOver will read it like that. So I type notes and folders and things like that. So it's actually very, very good. Uh, but if you gotta take a little time, you know, not that big a deal. So let's swipe down to the note that I'm gonna read, to, or we're gonna go through today. I'm just gonna swipe right like we do. Okay, so this is the test note for YouTube video. It's a really original name, right? Okay, so, so we're gonna double tap into that, all right? Loading note. Notes, so it says loading note because within this app, it will work offline it works great offline. And then when you actually go to an internet based area, maybe you're on Wi-Fi, something like that, it'll then download the note individually as you go to it. So you have to make sure that if you make an update somewhere and you wanna see that update on your phone, you gotta make sure your phone's connected to uh, the internet, either cell or Wi-Fi. So let's hop into this note. It starts off at the top left of the screen as it usually does. I'm gonna swipe over. Note, button, note, button, shit button, more. You notice it says button, button, button. Those have got to be labeled and it's just it takes a little time to label them but you can do it Test note for YouTube video, okay text field. so this is the heading if you will now the great thing about uh nimbus right off the bat is you can do headings evernote you couldn't do headings where you could swipe through them but uh with this you can so let's plain go text, heading level three. it says heading level three all right so plain text and this is how it's going to read it here is some text here is some text i'm swiping right okay swiping right here is some more text here is some more text this would be a portion of text that is a little bit longer. Perhaps a couple of sentences before you hit enter. Okay, so basically the way it works is every time you type into Nimbus, when you hit enter, that whole thing you typed, that will be one sentence or one line that is read. So if you type here is some text and enter, it's only gonna read here is some text. But then if you type here is some longer text, here's a whole paragraph, whatever you type, whatever's in there before the enter, that's what it's gonna read, just like in Evernote. So it works just like that. Uh, so if you're looking for how to, what's the best way to, you know, I might break up a whole paragraph into four sentences because that way I'm not trying to constantly read out an entire paragraph like, oh, I lost my place and I got to start all over. So every time you hit enter, it starts a new section, okay? Numbered lists, heading level three. Okay, and the next thing, it's numbered lists. Now this is quirky in Nimbus. I don't know if this is something just the way the coding works or whatever, but numbered lists are not fantastic in Nimbus and here's why. So it goes. This is a numbered list. This is a numbered list. That's the number one in the numbered list, but watch what happens. One. One. Now it goes back and reads the one and period. it reads the period. So it's backwards. It should have read the number one, then the point, but it reads it backwards. So for, for example, this is point two in the list. This is point two in the list. Two. Then it reads two period. and the period. So it's like, this is backwards. It shouldn't read it this way. Uh, and again, this is the last point, the last point three, three the and the period. So unfortunately, numbered lists don't work well. My workaround for this, if you're looking to use it, is type the word one, O-N-E, put a period, then space, and then type your point. Cause it'll read one and then read your point. And that's the way I always wanted to do it. I didn't want it to read one and I have to keep swiping. So I'd type one period, then your point, then uh, T -D T -W -O period, then your point, something like that. So it'll read it. Uh, but number lists aren't a big deal for me. I don't use uh, number lists a lot. Then it's got bulleted list and this reads it just like plain text. It doesn't read the bullet. Here is a bulleted list. Here's a bulleted list. Another point. In the bulleted Another list. point. Last bulleted point. Last bulleted point. So it reads it. It doesn't, it just ignores the bullet, which actually I think is beneficial. Um, you don't necessarily need the bullet points for a list. Now, if you're making this in a note for organizational purposes, you might want to have the bulleted list, but this is just how it reads it out via voiceover. Task lists, heading level three. It also has task lists. And this is the same thing as it was in Evernote. You have boxes, you check them off, that sort of thing. The nice thing about Nimbus is when you check them off, it puts a line through it, which I really like. Uh, but the task list reads just like plain text. Task number one, task number, one. Task number, number two, two. Task number, three. number three. It ignores the task box. So in presentation purposes, it's actually pretty good because you don't want it to say, uh, some would say like, um, uh, you know, task list item or something like that. Apple Notes does that. It it reads like uh, a list item and then it reads the thing. It's like I don't I don't want that information. I just want to read the the task item. So it does that. Uh, then it's got quotes you can put in. You can change it to a quote. To be or not to be. To be or not to That's be. That is the question. It ignores the thing. What it does for the quote is it puts a bar to the left and then it shows the quote. So for organizational purposes, you might want that bar to see, oh yeah, that's cool. But for presentation purposes, it just ignores it. If you want to read it as a quote, if you want to remember that as a quote, I would type out quote and then put your thing, something like that. 
all right? Other items. Heading so here's some other items about, now this is normally my notes for this video, but again, I'm just, I'm having it out loud so you can hear ha how it reads it and how I would be using it. So normally this would go to my ear and I would speak it out. That's how I do it for presentations and presentations, is, mm, no edits. That's how I do it for presentations. That's how I do it for song lyrics, you know, things like that. Um, it's just in my ear, nobody even notices. And as a matter of fact, I look down at the screen and most people are like, why are you looking at it? I'm like, I don't know. Anyway, so a couple of things, um, you can put images, tables, even videos into your notes. That's a really cool thing. I love the fact if you copy a, a video URL from YouTube and then you copy and paste it into your note, it'll give you the option to embed it and you can play it right from your note. That is a really cool feature. So if you've got some notes on research or something like that, and you're like, oh, this video is really helpful, you can put it right there. You don't have to go back to uh, YouTube to actually watch it. You can watch it right from your note, and that's pretty cool. Doesn't really have anything to do with the presentation purposes, but it's pretty cool. Um, there are free and paid plans with this. I think the free plan includes two workspaces and 50 notes per workspace. Then the paid plan, I think, is like 40 bucks a year, and it's five workspaces with unlimited notes, probably. Um, the thing about it is, if you're using this for presentation only, for example, like I'm using it right now for, like I said, song lyrics, presentations. I don't think I need all those notes because once I'm done with the presentation, I can do a couple of things. One, I can just delete it because I don't need it anymore. Or I can dump it into something like Apple Notes or Evernote just to hold it as a, you know, just a place to have it, like a big cabinet, if you will. So I think you could probably get away with the free plan just perfectly fine. Uh, it just really depends on how you want to use it. I really like Nimbus. I would love to use the $40 a year plan. Um, right now I have a free trial that I'm just considering. And if you go over from Evernote, Evernote, if you dump all your notes into it, they'll give you a free month. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing is it's got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and the web, of course. So you can use it anywhere. Now, again, this is only for iOS that I'm talking about. I don't know how it works with Android. So if you've got an Android phone and you want to download Nimbus and let me know how it goes, that would be fantastic. But here's the thing, guys. I'm done with this now. Here's the thing. Nimbus is such a great alternative to Evernote. And because it works like Evernote always worked for me, it's such a great solution. And it's not just a, um, you're not losing a bunch of stuff like, well, I guess I have to use it. No, it's actually really great. The iOS app has a couple of places you'd need to label things or whatever, but 98% of the stuff is wonderful. It works great. It's flawless. I really, really like it. So I've got it on my phone. I've got it on my Mac. I've got it on my iPad. I've got it everywhere. Nimbus Notes, M-I-N-I-M-B-U-S. Give it a shot because if you used Evernote like I did and then when it broke, you were like, well, I'm up the creek on this. Nimbus has come along to save the day. So we're so, so thankful for that. Uh, anytime something is accessible, we're so grateful for it. Anyway, guys, this has been a long video. You had to walk through all the things, but I hope that you are excited about it. If you wanna know how to use Apple Notes like this, I do have that video and I'll link it down in the description box. You can use Apple Notes. It's just a couple of other steps and there was a couple of reasons I didn't like using it that way. So I'm so glad Nimbus has come along to help me out in this area. And I hope that it helped you out as well. Thanks so much for watching today. Hey, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, if it's helpful to you, we'll make sure to hit that thumbs up button and share it out with somebody that you know. And like I said, if you're new around here and you wanna learn more about living this whole VIP life, we'll make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another single video. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Derek and I'll see you guys in the next one.